Okay, I'm here at the RPG and DB2 Summit, and we've just had a, a scintillating session led by Dr. Frank Soltis, who needs no introduction to most of us in the AI world, and the legendary father of our system, our platform that we now call IBM I. It's been through many names before that. And but what Frank was, was talking to us about this time was his uh, more current challenges related to IBM I, the IBM I community and specifically his role with IBM I Manifest. And so, Frank, tell us a little bit about how, how I Manifest got started in Japan and then how that relates to what you're doing now in North America. Well, back in 2008, we merged the I and the P into a single power system. Uh, a number of customers, a number of ISVs, business partners, and so forth in Japan were very upset about that mm -hmm. because they were selling I, IBMI, and they wanted to continue to sell IBMI. And so what they did is they formed a group and decided that they were going to do their own marketing of the IBMI. And they called it I Manifest. And there were several things they did. Uh, one of the first things they did was to take out a big full page ad in the equivalent newspaper that would be equivalent to our Wall Street Journal. And it was a testimonial of why they chose the IBMI, why it was good for business, a uh, listing of various companies, various well-known companies in Japan that were using IBMI in their business. And so that was really the first step, and it was a very, very successful start for this. They then decided that what they needed to do was have um, various case studies. In other words, uh, for somebody who was in a particular business, uh, let's say the auto parts business. If you were in the auto parts business and you wanted to see someone else that was in the auto parts business that was using an IBMI, you could go to a website and you could look up various other companies that were using it and testimonials, how they were using it, what products they were using, but also how it's been working in their business. And so that has proven to be very successful. They today have something about a thousand different case studies in various industries. These are all business cases. And so it's, again, a, a resource for people that do not have the IBMI, or perhaps people that do have it, but maybe it's under attack in their particular business. The other thing they decided to do was to provide material for a number of their customers. And the material was in the sense of a, what we sometimes talk about as an elevator pitch, a very, you know, very simple presentation that you could give to a CEO level person or a CIO or just another uh, IT professional. And so they put together different PowerPoint presentations that were very short, very succinct, to the point, and saying, here are the benefits of IBMI. Okay. And they aimed it for, for example, one of them for a CEO level. What's important to a CEO? And here's why IBMI is important to you. Another one for a CIO, and still another one, as I say, for an IT professional. In addition to just putting the presentations together, they put together all of the background material, uh, including even script for those people that were a little bit uncomfortable in, in trying to give a presentation, even yeah. a very short presentation. So they've been very, very successful. There's now well over 120 uh, ISVs and business partners that are part of this. And so uh, about a year ago, we decided that it would be a good idea if we could move that, that kind of concept, and create an iManifest in North America as well as an iManifest in, in Europe. Great. So is the iManifest in America are going to do the same sort of thing? Are we going to be having a, a big newspaper ad or well, do some different things? One of the things that, that, of course, we've decided here is that things like newspaper ads don't work very well in the U.S. Um, I remember some IBM ads that were put in where they were full page ads for some particular product at IBM. And when we would call uh, customers who we knew took that particular newspaper, the Wall Street Journal, or whatever it was, uh, and asked them what they thought about that particular ad, the response was they didn't remember seeing it. Yeah. And so that's more common here. I think in Japan it seems to work better than it does here. So we're not as anxious to do things like, like newspaper ads. Um, but one of the things that we do want to do, which is different, is not just keep this to ISVs and business partners. In Japan, that's really what it's all about. Mm -hmm. We want to open it up to anyone. Right. We want to open it up to customers as well as ISVs and, and, and business partners of all kinds and provide much of this, as I talk about ammunition, uh, that you could take to a CEO or a CIO or somebody else you know, in your industry and say, you know, 
We use IBMI. Here's why it's good. Here's what it does for us. It can do the same thing for you. So it's, it's a lot of things that we'll be putting together. The other thing that, that has always been disturbing to me is when I would get a phone call from someone. And the someone says, I'm very sad because tomorrow they're unplugging my I series or whatever it happens to be, and it's gone. Right? And, and the sad part about it is that it's too late at that point. Yeah. Okay? And so the reaction here is can we get some of this headed off a little bit early? If somebody needs help, let's provide the community to be able to help them and explain why the system actually is good for some particular business. Okay? So, uh, IBM Manifest in the Americas uh, has a presence on LinkedIn, I know, and yes. on Facebook. So, there are ways that people can just sign up and get connected. To yes, yes, yes. And we want to get everybody connected. I mean, we want anybody who's associated with IBMI in any way, shape, or form, sign up. I mean, even if it's only just to read some of this, right? Yes. Um, for those people that want to be actively involved in this, all the better. Yeah, and we're sure right. we can do that. So it's a lot of case studies, I suppose. A lot of case studies, yeah, yes. I great. really want to see a lot of case studies because there's nothing more powerful, at least in, in my mind, than if I'm in a particular industry and I can see what everybody else is doing. Yeah. Especially if some of those doing it are some of the leaders in that particular industry. Right? And so if I can see the benefit of what they're getting in their industry, in my industry, if you will, by using IBMI, then this is all the more positive. Wow. That sounds great. And you've got so many users of IBMI out there, and uh, developers and other IT professionals, database administrators. So hopefully with that big community out there, we'll have a lot of strength once we pull all our resources together. Absolutely. I mean, I've, I've always maintained that IBMI, like the S400 and so forth before, it belongs to the community. Yeah. And we've always had a very strong community with this product, more so than almost any other product you can think of. And it's always been a very enthusiastic uh, group that has always been associated with this. Go to any conference, you find tremendous enthusiasm. And let's harness some of that enthusiasm and let's, you know, help promote this product. Terrific. Well, we'll make up for uh, any lack of marketing we might have had otherwise and do it ourselves. Right? Exactly. Right. Thanks,